Stop. Friendly Fire. Chapter 1. Reinforcement Hero. Part 3. <laughs> the treasure eater charged at him with a shriek. Its jagged fence-like teeth within its open mouth radiated with a dull light. Sprint! <laughs> If he was chewed up by that thing, he knew it wouldn't end with him dying only once or twice. So Li Shinwu completely abandoned any thought of a frontal assault. He activated his sprint skill and ran away. Immediately after, the treasure eater brushed past his side and the following wind pressure felt as though a subway train had passed by him and his bones itched. There was also the foul stench of rotting corpses. <coughs> Perhaps it hadn't expected that he'd dodge it so cleanly, and the treasure eater that had labored in vain shrieked again and twisted its body around. It seemed like it would take quite a long time for it to make a U-turn, as its body was too large when compared to the width of the passageway. Help! This was his chance. Li Xinwu firmly gripped his spear with both hands and held it to his side. He subsequently pierced through the side of its body, as if he were shooting a cannon, and both of his hands creaked. He placed the full might of all the stats he had stockpiled thus far into his level 2 bone spear. The force behind the bone spear was truly tremendous. CRITICAL HIT! His spearmanship had been firmly tempered through the sacrifice of countless poles, resulting in a strike both heavy and sharp. The spear entered and split open its side, magnificently bursting open both its skin and the flesh within. It was then that Li Xinwu realized that the concept of critical hits existed in this world. <coughs> whoa, whoa! But he had only thought of attacking with all his might, and hadn't considered his next move. The moment the pained treasure eater turned its entire body, Li Xinwu failed to pull out the spear and crashed into the wall. Ah, ah! He was afflicted by a pain that felt as though all his bones were being smashed. The pain was killing him, but he knew he would really die if he lost consciousness here, so he desperately maintained his consciousness. It helped here as well that he was undead. <coughs> This damned thing! Li Xinwu was trapped between the bug's body and the wall. Though he was receiving a shock that felt as though his body was being crushed to pieces, he used all his might, grabbed the spear, and pulled it out, causing dead flesh and blood to burst out. <coughs> At that moment, the bug screeched like a pig, filling the passageway with its screams. The treasure eater used Shriek of the Dead. Those exposed to this shriek will momentarily enter a frenzied state. As an effect of Invisible Heart, you ignore the effects of Shriek of the Dead. The effects behind its shriek were ignored due to the effects of Invisible Heart. However, Li Xinwu was moving without seeing that message. To be exact, he aimed for the moment it shrieked, as it stopped moving while doing so, to attack the same area he had attacked last time. He believed he'd be able to land another critical hit by attacking the same area. <coughs> However, was he still lacking in skill to intentionally land a critical hit? Although he had thought he had timed it perfectly, his attack missed. Compared to last time, his attack was only able to create a smaller hole. Still, the fact that he could withdraw his spear and retreat immediately following his attack was progress, compared to last time. However, at that moment, a message update appeared. Beginner spearmanship has become level 4. You can swing your spear more easily now. Huh? Li Xinwu briefly voiced out in surprise. That's because beginner spearmanship had leveled up to level 3 upon killing the 133rd pole. It hadn't been long since it had leveled up, yet it had leveled up again, so he couldn't help but be surprised. However, he obviously didn't have the time to look into that right now. Like the message had said, it felt much lighter than before. He gripped his spear and got ready to use his sprint skill again. <coughs> the treasure eater had successfully managed to change directions, despite being attacked, and opened its mouth wide, seemingly intent on swallowing both him and the treasure whole. Ah, sprint! 
At the end of their split-second battle of wits, Li Xinwu dodged its charge again and flung his body. Though it was a dangerous moment that would determine life or death, he was able to dodge its charge with more ease than before. That's because the treasure eater charged in a straight line, and he had used his sprint skill to accelerate at the crucial moment. If he didn't possess a skeleton's body which enabled him to utilize sprint repeatedly, the battle would have already been over. Conversely, it meant that he was confident that he'd be able to keep up with it as long as he wanted. Nice! Then... Li Xin Wu concluded that he'd need to prolong the fight, so he abandoned all thoughts of attacking and decided to damage it little by little. He would use the reach of the bone spear at mid range to nibble away at its body. Eat this! Clah! The bone spear quickly stabbed its rear end, splattering blood. Li Xin Wu had successfully attacked, and he immediately retreated to a safe distance and observed the treasure eater. However, its response was strange. Li Xinwu had expected that it would go wild like last time, but it ignored his predictions and had curled up as much as possible. <laughs> it yelled its most annoying and unpleasant shriek to date. Li Xinwu grit his teeth to endure its intense, skull-ringing shriek, and there was a truly teeth-gritting scene before its very eyes. The Treasure Eater uses the roar of healing. The Treasure Eater's health recovers completely. The wounds that Li Xinwu had risked his life to inflict were being healed in real time. Steve, you asshole! It was just an external passageway monster, but it was healing up like a boss monster. He was even more annoyed by the fact that he had no way of figuring out how many times it could use the Roar of Healing. If it could use the Roar of Healing repeatedly, then this struggle would be meaningless. Ah, that's so demoralizing. He felt as though his blood sugar was dropping, but it was just a misunderstanding. After all, he was nothing but bones, so there was no way for his blood sugar to drop. Li Xinwu weakly gripped his spear. He could do nothing but act on the assumption that right now the treasure eater couldn't use its roar of healing indefinitely, and if not, then he'd have to run away, no matter what, by using sprint. It was then... Monster discovered during patrol. Requesting reinforcements. Huh? Li Xinwu couldn't believe what he was hearing. He had definitely heard the voice of a skeleton soldier beyond the completely collapsed passageway. Moreover, thanks to the treasure eater rampaging everywhere, the upper, lower, and side passageways had all collapsed, and the skeleton soldiers were coming out from everywhere. Of course, the treasure eater had absolutely no interest in the soldiers equipped with lousy bone spears, but Li Xinwu was different. Are these guys really coming to help me? Requesting additional reinforcements. In the middle of requesting reinforcements? Discovered something. Fighting. The monster. One of the skeleton soldiers discovered Li Xinwu confronting the monster. The skeleton tilted its head when it saw Li Xinwu's larger frame compared to other skeletons. His body had become slightly larger as his stats had increased, and the shiny bone spear in his hand, ultimately asking, Are you a newbie? Uh, yeah, I'm a newbie. Uh, help me? Li Xinwu yelled distressingly. It seemed like the skeleton couldn't grasp the situation, as it stood there vacantly for a second, but soon came up to the passageway and pointed its spear towards the treasure eater. Participating, hunting together. Paul! <laughs> right after Li Xinwu shouted in gratitude, a message appeared before his eyes. You have achieved the feat of deceiving your enemies and manipulating them. Surviving using everything you have may be the most important talent in the Empire. You have learned the passive skill, acting, level one. <laughs> it felt slightly strange that this was the first skill that he had obtained through his own efforts, but he'd use it as much as possible if it would keep him alive. Li Xinwu sneakily took a step back from the treasure eater and yelled in an even louder voice. Pauls, let's beat this monster together! It's a thief that's threatening the security of our empire! Request complete. Participating. Participating. Hey, you! Yes, you! Come over here! Helping the newbie. Participating! 
More skeleton soldiers aggressively participated in the battle, and even those from further away, the more of a fuss he made. There were those who would wait and see, but when Li Xin Wu personally pointed them out and asked for their help, they couldn't just ignore him. Who would have thought that the first aid training from the military would help here? <laughs> Hunting the monster, the bug that threatens the empire. The treasure eater disregarded the skeleton soldiers when more than ten had gathered, and lunged at Li Xin Wu. But when the number had instantly surpassed twenty, it seemed to panic and changed its tactics. <laughs> The treasure eater used Shriek of the Dead. Those exposed to this shriek will momentarily enter a frenzied state. As an effect of Invisible Heart, you ignore the effects of Shriek of the Dead. Ah, I forgot about that. There are a lot of enemies. Where are you aiming? That's an afterimage. Unlike Li Shin Wu, the other skeletons were powerless before the Shriek of the Dead, and the skeletons that had died from infighting were quickly replaced by new ones. It seemed as though all the skeleton soldiers in the external passageways were gathered here. The treasure eater tried to use the Shriek of the Dead, but it failed due to the lack of mana. Oh, so that's how it is. While the treasure eater tried to repeatedly use its Shriek of the Dead, a message had appeared, notifying him that it had failed due to a lack of mana. At this point, it's highly likely that the treasure eater wouldn't be able to use its Roar of Healing either. All of the risk factors had disappeared. Good! Paul! Use the Siege Destruction Formation! Attacking! Killing the enemy! Ah, it's a line he'd wanted to say at least once in his life. Li Xin Wu was moved, wiping the resulting non-existent tears, and then gripped his bone spear. Of course, even if it had depleted all its mana, the Treasure Eater's physical abilities didn't change, and was wiping out the skeleton soldiers with relative ease. It would be easier for Shin Wu if it wiped out a lot of them. Whoa, this year's harvest is great! He muttered satisfyingly as he saw the bones scattered around him, then gripped his spear and charged at the Treasure Eater. The battle ended just five minutes later. It was a complete victory. End of chapter 1, part 3